The Edsel is one of the most famous examples of a failed product launch in American automotive history. The history of the Edsel is a fascinating story of innovation, ambition, and ultimately, disappointment. Edsel was a new division of the Ford Motor Company. It was named after Henry Ford's son, Edsel Ford, the longtime company president, who had died of cancer in 1943. The name was intended to honor Edsel's contributions to the company, and serve as a symbol of the new car's innovation and style. Ford spent tens of millions on research, design, and production facilities. The company wanted the car to stand out from the competition, and appeal to a wide range of customers. It was introduced to the public in September 1957 for the 1958 model year. At its launch, Edsel featured seven different models. The Citation, available in four-door hardtop, two-door hardtop, and two-door convertible. The Corsair, which featured two- and four-door hardtop models. The Pacer came in two- and four-door hardtop, as well as four-door sedan, and two-door convertible. The Ranger was available as a two- or four-door hardtop, as well as a two- or four-door sedan. There were three wagons. The four-door Bermuda and Villager, as well as the two-door Roundup. Edsel was marketed as a car that was ahead of its time, with several innovative features. These included a rotating drum speedometer. A push-button transmission was mounted in the center of the wheel. There were 60-40 split front seats for driver comfort. The cars also featured self-adjusting brakes and child-proof rear door locks. While innovative, Edsel's unique design proved to be its downfall. The cars were introduced at a time when the public was already starting to gravitate toward smaller, more understated designs. Edsel's bold styling, which featured a large horizontal grille and unusual taillights, was seen as too radical by many people. Edsel was also priced higher than many of its competitors, which hurt sales. It was marketed as a premium brand, but it lacked the cachet of already established brands like Cadillac and Lincoln. In addition, Edsel was introduced during a recession, which further hurt sales. Despite these early problems, Ford continued to push Edsel, investing even more money in advertising and marketing campaigns. But the car never caught on with the public, and sales were disappointing from the beginning. Ford had hoped to sell 200,000 Edsels in the first year, but less than 70,000 were sold. By 1959, Ford had lost over $250 million on Edsel, and the company was forced to admit defeat. Production was stopped, and Ford was left with thousands of unsold cars that had to be scrapped or sold at a loss. Today, Edsel is remembered as a classic car failure, a symbol of corporate hubris and the dangers of overhyping a product. Despite its commercial failure, the Edsel remains an important part of automotive history, and is remembered today for its distinctive design and advanced technology. Many of the features that were pioneered by Edsel would go on to become standard features on many other cars in the years that followed. An Edsel is now sought after by collectors, with some models valued at upwards of $100,000. Edsel maintains a dedicated group of fans who appreciate its unique design and its place in history.